All right, so today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the most overpowered KSP-45 class up here in Black Ops Cold War. So real quick, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Now, if we can get a like goal today of 400 likes in under 24 hours, that'd be much appreciated. But anyways, guys, this class up you need to use immediately. It's super overpowered, and you guys will love this class setup. In today's gameplay, I dropped a double nuke, and it, it was just fine. This game was super fun to use, especially with the KSP-45. So let's go ahead and get straight up into the class setup. All right, so we're here with the class setup, and guys, I'm going to tell y'all, this is so fun to use. I'm not going to lie, especially with the Hillbilly Shotgun, the uh, Hewer 77, whatever you want to call it. But um, we're going to go through the class setup, and we're going to start off with the muzzle, which is going to be the SOCOM Eliminator. This is going to help with 85% muzzle flash concealment and 17% more vertical recoil control. Now, since this is burst, it does shoot up more. So if we can have stuff to control its vertical recoil, this is going to be very helpful when it comes to getting those bursts where it doesn't shoot up a lot. It just kind of shoots and it kind of stays centered and it's really nice so this is very helpful just to have and it's uh help you control your weapon more so this is a really good attachment for number one now attachment number two and i think this is the super most important one uh this is the task force barrel that's going to help with six percent more damage 50 percent more effective damage at range and 75 percent more bullet velocity i think this is really important because you need that damage you need that effective damage at range and as well you need that bullet velocity to help your gun even be more overpowered the thing is we lose starting ammo we lose some vertical recoil and as well we lose um horizontal control which is not bad we'll have we have some attachments that'll fix it so don't worry about it now the next attachment here is the steady aim laser i don't use anything else besides the steady aim laser the other ones are just super pointless in my opinion so i don't use them the next attachment is going to be the Filled Agent Foregrip. This can help with 6% more vertical recoil control and 20% more horizontal recoil control. Now this, this attachment here is going to help it where you have no recoil whatsoever, even though that we had stuff, we lost some vertical recoil and stuff like that. But this is going to be very nice to use when it comes to getting in those gunfights. You have full control of your weapon, and it's really nice. You really need to use this one, so make sure to do that. The next one here is the fast mag. Now I'm using the fast mag because we just reload quick. Uh, since this is a three round burst um, SMG, uh, you don't really need to put a crazy extended mag on here. We're just gonna run this to reload quicker, which is really nice just because we're not gonna have any cons. We're not gonna lose aim down sight speed or anything like that. This weapon is really overpowered, so you know you can reload. And since it's a three round burst, it doesn't mean you know it's, you're not losing too much stuff here, which is really nice. Now the next thing here is the Airborne Elastic Wrap. This can help with 30% more aim down sight speeds, 90% more flinch resistance, and as well, we'll be able to aim down sight while proning. This will be very helpful to be aggressive because of one, you'll be able to drop shot more efficiently, which is really nice. Two, you're basically in a fourth perk called Toughness. You don't flinch as much when getting shot at, so this can be very helpful when it comes to being aggressive, you know, just running, gunning, and stuff like that, which is very helpful. And then finally here we have the 30% more aim down sight speeds which is going to be very helpful to be more aggressive because you'll be that first person to aim down sight which in my opinion if you max these guns out before anybody else you're just going to be you're just going to outplay them it's just how it is and then finally we're going to be using the raider stock that's going to help with 30 percent more sprint to fire time and 10 percent more aim walking movement speed which is really nice this is very helpful because of one you'll be able to shoot faster off a sprint which is going to help you be more aggressive and as well you'll be able to strafe easier while aiming down sight kind of juking your opponents out while aiming down sight which is really nice but if you want to know the hillbilly shotgun class setup i am running the ranger barrel the steady aim laser that or uh, the staying eight round tube speed tape and then we're running the no stock and of course we got it diamond out with the perks of flak jacket scavenger and spy craft with stem shot scavenger field mic and most importantly the gunfighter wild card that's it for the video guys if you want to watch this double nuke i got with the ksp make sure to do so and as well let me know in the comment section guys if you like this class but thank you guys i'll catch you on the next one peace
Hey, yo. Oh, GG, let's get it. What and what? I got a nuke, let's go. I just don't know this. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Bro, I'm so cracked right now, bro. It's not even a joke. Enemy spy plane inbound. Bro, this... That KSP is so good. Right, I'm, I'm 63 and 1 right now. I'm about to drop a double nuke. This could be a triple for here. Hopefully, okay, I have more artillery and stuff ready. Secure the objective. C4 going out. We're taking control. Alpha secure. TACOM, how is requesting napalm strike?
No. Double nuke. Maintain current posture. You're camping up there. Yeah, you are age kid. Trying to keep uh, 88 KD. Enemy took Alpha. Enemy spy plane in town. I'm dead. I couldn't slide, Jesus Christ. C4 going out. GG. Let's go 118 and 5 with a double nuke.